Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? I am happy to announce that the live one-on-one -on -one reading with me is finally available. You can book an appointment with me. You can choose from three selection. You can, you can have your love and romantic connection. You can have your business career and finances, which I totally love also, or you can have both also. So you can check it out. Um, the availability would be limited because I do this not so often at all. Like I do it once a year. Um, so book now your appointment and then I will see you there. Okay, so this is going to be a one-on-one -on -one live with me. Okay, um, I do have your sidereal chart over here and let's see what's going on. Okay, um, for everybody who wants to get their chart also, it's going to be in the description box below. Let's see what's going on for my... Pisceans, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I feel like the Pisceans right now are just happy. They're vibing. They're glowing. Um, with the Nine of Cups over here, this is feeling like a. I feel like I feel like, you feel like a million dollars. Uh, like for whatever reason, it, it gives me goosebumps right now. And I'm totally digging your whole leg. I'm just happy. I'm just living in that moment. Um, you're a water sign. And I want I want to say that this is you. But I feel like this is your person. Okay. Um, I feel like your person is always... You're always at the back... What do you call this? Like at the back of their head. So they always think about you. Um, and it makes you feel good. I feel... Mm -hmm. Now for others, I'm seeing here Nine of Cups to the King of Cups, you're manifesting something here strongly about love, okay? Like when I say manifesting, um, you're bringing it, but you, when you manifest, you it's, it's, it's tricky because there are different ways of bringing it, okay? Now, of course, others would have just a specific time in their life and it comes. So you don't even need to manifest things just happen because it's supposed to happen. But here, I feel like you're actively, okay, like diving into the occult because the King of Cups is Scorpio and it is the occult, um, the secret wisdom, <clears throat> the ancient wisdom basically of bringing um, your relationship, you know, or someone that you love, okay? Like you could be praying. You could be like, because um, I'm seeing here like this can be like different vessels, okay? Um, like you could be writing some sort of gratitude, you know, like those uh, the people do that. You're journaling. Because I'm seeing here, like, you're very active on your wishes. This is Nine of Cups is wishing and wishing going to be granted. The wish is going to be granted. Okay. This is a place also where you're content right now. So it feels like your your vibration is different from, you know, from your usual. And you're constantly making progress. So you're doing something positive in your life that you're making progress right now with the King of Cups. So you're evolving, okay, um, as a water sign, you know. Um, it feels like, well, Jupiter is in Pisces right now. So you, you're you really increasing your wisdom on how to take care of yourself, which is good. Mm, okay. Remember that person who is always just thinking about you and never really messaging you? I feel like this is them. Okay. Um, your person is always wonders like, oh, you know, what you're up to? Because I strongly feel like you're the Nine of Cups. Now, the Page of Swords is a gathering of information, which means like they have been thinking and observing and studying you closely as a Page of Swords here. Mm -hmm. What I'm seeing here with the Page of Swords is that they want to address something about you that you have been doing continuously. Okay, let me see what this is about. Okay. Hmm. I see. Oh, okay. Hmm. Somewhat connected to the aqua. So they're in the opposite side of what your life is right now. But again, this can be like this. Okay. Sometimes it's really like this with this kind of spread. Um because nine of swords, five pentacles to the page of pentacles. Someone here is very worried that there is no open line of communication. Someone is regretting their action towards you but it didn't affect you and right now they're just wanting to say that they're sorry for putting you in this situation because five pentacles is a very tough card it is a card of no contact 
Now, what I'm seeing here is that your person is suffering in silence and they want to express something that they've been going through. And the page of Pentacles is how much it is. It's very difficult. Um, this person hasn't, you know, had a good sleep recently. This person overthinks the situation. The Nine of Swords is like every day that you guys are not talking, you know, they go deep inside their head. So it creates paranoia. It creates, uh, you know, with this combination, this is depression. This is going through something, uh, uh, you know, not making fun of anyone, but like a mental condition. Okay. So this is going serious here on your person. This is someone who tries to get up in the morning, tries to gather all their strength, but they can't. Why? Because they need to say that they're sorry. So something inside them, something that they've done with the Page of Pentacles that they're guilty of, um, they need to express that to you. And it's the only time that things can move forward. You're not bothered by it in actuality. Like for you, it's like, well, they did what they did. It doesn't affect me. That's on their end. So again, like I told you, it's like you're just vibing different at all. Like totally, totally different. It's nine of cups, nine of swords. What they're getting is a result of uh, of their own action. Mm -hmm. mm. I feel like you're just more focused on your work right now, but you're questioning also, and you can be saying genitalia, whatever you prefer, um, but with the Two of Swords over here and the King of Pentacles, since you're taking care of your business, your work, your stability, and your emotional, uh, I feel like your health, you can be going to therapy, you can be doing something proactive in your life. Um, you're questioning, you know, it's like if it's even worth it to have this connection, to have this person in your life. Because the Two of Swords is a non-emotion, non-emotional decision. Is that what? Yeah. Like you're not going to put your emotions here. You're more in the logic side. Like, I have responsibilities as a King of Pentacles, my work, my business, my career. Um, and the Two of Swords is more of like, if it doesn't work out, then of course we're going to separate because the Two of Swords goes to the three. You guys can be married, okay, and it's going to be tough because if you guys are living in together and there's no harmonious communication, your person is definitely suffering. Seven of Pentacles, they're waiting for a moment where they can express this, Page of Pentacles. And I feel like you're also just waiting for them to say, it's like, yeah, I'm just waiting for them to admit to me, you know, like whatever that they feel guilty of. Because the Hierophant is here. The Hierophant is the truth that what they want to express. Opposite to the High Priestess, they keep the secret. Hierophant is about expressing it. Mm -hmm. And in your chart over here, we do have, you know, right now, the sun is in Virgo. Mercury retrograde in Virgo. It's all about the partnership. Remember, I do sidereal, guys. Wherever the sun goes, it illuminates that house, okay? And Venus will soon follow um, the sun. It's only in Leo right now. Um, and I feel like there will be a communication between the two of you that will come out, you know. But Venus suffers in Virgo. You know, it's debilitation sign, which means that it doesn't give what it's supposed to give. So in a matter of a couple of days, your person will feel that there is something being depleted in this relationship. They would feel the exhaustion. They'd feel like, I should have given the Pisces and the love that they deserve, right? Jupiter will aspect your seventh, which means that there will be, um, you know, like um, an exchange between Jupiter and Venus. And we know Jupiter and Venus is the feminine masculine, also Venus and Mars, but it's different. Um, but this is you trying to understand them because you have Jupiter in the first, which means when it looks at the Virgo, you're going to look at it with all wisdom and all knowledge. You want, you would want to apply what you know about relationship and how it's going to work. So you're coming in, um, Piscean, with a lot of wits, with a lot of things that you've learned how to manage your relationship. They're coming at their weakest right now. Mm -hmm. um, especially that the your seventh house lord is in retrograde in Virgo, then the communication was the issue. Mercury rules communication. Mm -hmm. And then Venus is partnership. It can be connected with a Taurus. Mm. You have a seven of swords here. The emperor. Okay. Um, what I'm seeing here is that your person wasn't honest enough. There was some things that there are things that they hid from you. Okay. During the time that you guys were together. And it eats them. It whatever it is for now, because we haven't seen it. Um, they want to express this. But with the Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords, they can be immature on how they deal the situation. The, are you bothered? No, I don't think so. 
Um, with the Hierophant and the Emperor over here, it just shows that your person is still trying to maintain their composure, but they're waiting for an opening. Mm -hmm. With the Seven of Pentacles, when can I discuss with the Piscean what I have done? You know, but on this side, Page of Swords to the Seven of Swords, I feel like you already know about this. You know, it's like it's not a secret, Sal. I know what's going on. You know, you're very much aware. And with the Two of Swords, though. If you're aware, then now you would be the one to say, it's like, well, okay, well, maybe this can work out, you know, if you're honest, or maybe not. Oof, there is something for sure. The devil is here. Mm-hmm, let me see. Hermit, oh, ace of swords, and I told you. So your person can't wait, seven of pentacles, with the ace of swords, to communicate, to break the silence. They don't know how to approach. Because whatever it is, um, hermit with the devil, it seems like something that you may not be able to forgive. Something that maybe this is the breaking point. Maybe this is the, what do you call this? Not maybe. This is the, I'm the deal breaker in a relationship. Now we all have deal breaker, you know. And hermit with the devil, it feels like your intuition is telling you already. Like, I feel like they've done something. And I feel like this time around, I won't be able to forgive them. And this is what's stressing them. This could have been a situation that has been repetitive because the devil is here. And as the connect, as uh, you know, as they keep repeating and repeating it, you probably already have told your person, like with the with the two of swords, this is the last time that I would have to deal with it because after that, I feel like if you keep lying, betraying, or avoiding the issue that they have, you know, if they keep if they don't fix it, then it would lead to a breakup. So right now with the hermit, you're just saying here that's like. I feel like it's best that we don't talk. But with the Five of Pentacles here and the Nine of Swords, they're scared. They're scared. But they want this communication already. They can't handle not talking. So let's see. As they break their silence, expresses their truth to you, Piscean. Link down there in the description box below for the appointments. Book your appointment now so that you don't, because it's going to be long. It's going to be a long wait. So if you get the early uh, um, early appointment, then chances are we can can have you read right away. Um, what else? And also check out the charts. Now, in let's go to the extended reading. Um, let's find out as your person cannot keep this secret anymore or cannot wait to talk to you anymore and they're ready to break their silence. Thank you very much, Paisian, for watching. I will see you guys again. Bye.